is Stuart from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Spire TME3, which is the Thermax Eclipse 3 CPU cooler. The TME3 is the third generation of the Thermax Eclipse. The Thermax Eclipse line has been wildly successful uh, as far as performance among CPU coolers. The Thermax Eclipse 3 comes packaged in a black and uh, pretty much rust colored or uh, almost a wine colored box with front window showing off just a little bit of the fan you can see a tiny bit of the heat sink uh, also you do have a small picture of the TME3 right down the bottom itself uh, a couple of the features are listed out universal direct heat pipe processor cooler for the newest Intel and AMD microprocessors it does use five eight millimeter heat pipes straight lined heat pipes for better airflow dimpled surface area on the fins which is going to create more surface area high quality uh, nano bearing fans, best cooling performance on CPUs up to TDP 150 watts, that of course is a claim, not necessarily a fact, all black nickel uh, coated heat pipes, the heat pipes and the entire cooler itself are coated in black, it's going to be a very nice looking cooler, solid copper base in direct contact with all other processor area, stamped aluminum wide fins for best surface rate, Two 120 millimeter Black Star fans supports AM2 and AM3 sockets, as well as, of course, uh, the new Intel 775, 1155, 1156, and 1366. Uh, there is no mention of LGA 2011 or FM1 on the packaging. And, of course, PWM fans included with four pin motherboard connectors. Swinging around the side of the box, we do get the full specification chart. Uh, a couple of things of note. The height is only 152 millimeters, so it's going to fit into just about any mid or full tower case with room to spare. That's really a good height. We're used to seeing uh, 160 millimeters or better in a full-size tower cooler using uh, 120 millimeter fans. Also, cooler weight 822 kilograms, not a bad weight at all. Um, you know, typically with the dual towers, we're seeing 1250, 1300, and up, and most of your dual fans we're seeing well over 800 typically well over a thousand grams and this is coming in at 822 grams which is not bad at all the noise level on the fans uh, max 22 dba that is per fan that is not in total and you've got an airflow of 74.63 max cfm per fan once again not total also you get the package contents um, which was one fan one clip uh, the thermal interface material installation manual and warranty card the TME3 is packaged in the box with one fan laid into place. Um, it's not actually fully installed, it's just kind of laid in and uh, just kind of barely in place. Taking a look at the fan itself, it's a 120mm fan, 600-1800 RPM. It's got a very interesting curvature to the fan blades. Um, I'm going to guess that this is for uh, keeping it a bit quiet. The CFM produced by the fan, you know, a little over 76 is about average for a 120 millimeter fan, but the 22 dB noise level is actually very low. So I'm going to guess that the curvature of the fan is going to help uh, keep the wind noise down a little bit. Nice looking fan. Uh, one funny thing about it, that is your entire fan lead right there. It does not um, have a long cable in any way, shape, or form coming off of the fan. It comes right to the corner, stops there. Taking a look at the Thermax Eclipse 3 itself. Good looking cooler. As you can see, it's got a unique cutout shape to the tower, which is supposed to let more air pass through more easily, give you a little bit more cooling. Uh, as you can see, the six heat pipes come up in a V formation, which is going to give you more flow over each of the heat pipes without the heat pipes blocking each other. So you're going to get more heat dissipation that way. Nice black nickel finish with dimpled. Uh, surface area on each of the heat fins gives it kind of a unique sparkly effect as well almost a pearlescent effect to the black although it's not a straight black it is a black nickel uh, very very interesting look as you can see the fans attach with four rubbers which pull through and will snap it into place uh, you've got a good looking set of fins going through taking a look nice big chunky eight millimeter heat pipes which we'd like to see. Um, you're going to be a lot better off with five eight millimeters and six six millimeters as far as cooling capacity, that's for sure. Eight millimeter heat pipes are going to displace a lot more heat than a six millimeter. 
going down the bottom, they are direct contact. The very nice milled finish on the bottom of the heat pipes. Uh, however, there is a very, very deep groove around the heat pipes uh, between the surface area of the contact block. So you're going to have to really watch how you put your thermal paste on uh, the application and make sure that you don't wind up with nothing on the heat pipes and everything going into those crevices. Uh, mounting kit already installed on it, pre-installed as you can see for AMD or for Intel. You know, very good looking tower and also you get down the bottom bottom of the contact plate, you get a few more fins. That does provide a little bit more uh, heat dissipation directly from the CPU itself. Inside the accessory box, front of warranty card, user's manual, installation guide with illustrations, not large installations, but large enough to make out what's going on. Second fan with rubber clips. Two extra rubber clips are provided in case you break them. Tiny tube, thermal interface material, Intel kit, AMD kit, backplate for both, and fan cable. Um, actually, two fan cables, I should say, which are extensions because, as I said, the fans themselves do not have any cable coming out of them. So, simple installation kit, very simple accessory kit. The Spire TME 3 comes from a legacy of very, very well-performing coolers in the Thermax Eclipse line. Uh, the new piece is really a no-nonsense type cooler, really good-looking black nickel finish on it, uh, six, eight, or I should say five 8mm heat pipes, dual 120mm fans, each rated only 22 dB, but able of putting out over 76 uh, CFM each. So you're going to get some really good airflow at really low noise. Uh, the heat pipes are direct contact. You've got a beautiful mill on the bottom, though you do find uh, a very deep crevice around the heat pipes. It's just going to need to be careful putting on your thermal interface material. Um, the mounting kit is very rudimentary, but it is full featured. Will do the latest Intel and AMD sockets, except for it will not do LGA 2011 or FM1. Handles uh, 775, 1155, 1156 just fine, as well as AM2 and 3. The Spire Thermax Clips dual fan direct uh, contact heat pipe cooler.